With the Kenyan troops participating in the United Nations mission in South Sudan, UNMIS having returned to the country two weeks ago after they were withdrawn from the mission by their commander-in-chief, President Uhuru, Kenya has been engaged in a diplomatic spat with the United Nations. The action by UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to dismiss UNMIS Force Commander Lieutenant General Jackson Kimani Mogoa on Dieki, leaving Kenya with the bitter test that occasioned the withdrawal in protest. Concerns have, however, been raised and where Kenya's withdrawal leaves the peace process in South Sudan, with Kenya being a critical player in the process while President Uhuru is eager as a special rapporteur in the troubled nation. President Kenyatta, speaking to African diplomats in Kampala on Saturday night, sought to dispel the fears that the withdrawal by Kenyan troops would jeopardize peace in the region. There is nobody who can doubt Kenya's commitment to the independence and thereafter to the peace, stability and security of South Sudan. The president, however, remained categorical that Kenya will not accept scapegoating for the massacre of civilians in Juba while asking the United Nations to relook at the tenets of the mission. Because every nation that is sovereign is entitled to its dignity, is entitled to its pride. And with Kenya having offered Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed for the position of Chairperson of the African Union Commission in the upcoming elections in January, President Uhuru sought the support of the African diplomats in ensuring that Ambassador Mohamed ascends to the position. An individual who is a consensus builder, an individual who brings people together, an individual who is well organized and can help us reorganize and transform our commission in order to serve our respective countries. And that's what I hope you'll allow me to, to work on, to make sure that we emancipate our institution, get it to work for us, get it to bring us together and deliver uh, for all of us. Later, during the second annual diplomatic forum organized by the Diplomatic Corps, President Kenyatta called on Africans to demand equal treatment when engaging with other countries on what he termed as the illegitimate and the unfair international order. And indeed for our partners, because we have many around the world, let it be clear that we are partners. Mutual respect is what we seek. President Uhuru, who jetted back into the country on Sunday morning from Kampala, attended a church service at PCA Mutero Church in Karen, where he advised the youth to unite and support each other in achieving their dreams. You people standing together, working together, being loyal to one another, being committed to one another, but most importantly, working hard. I guarantee you the sky is the limit and there is nothing you cannot achieve.